We exalt your name this morning. You're worthy, Father, of our praise. Father, you're worthy of our praise. Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for these, for these little ones. You said to suffer the little ones un to come unto me. Kids, what we're doing here today, what we're doing here today is we're, we're saying that we love Jesus and that Jesus loves us. That's what, that's what we're doing when we're doing this. We're saying that we love Jesus and Jesus loves us. That's what this is all about. Because when Jesus was crucified, the night before he was crucified, he took a piece of bread like this. You guys ever see bread like this? It's different, huh? Usually when you get bread, it's kind of like white and puffy. and This is kind of different. Because when they make bread, they put stuff in it called yeast. You ever hear yeast? And that's what makes it all puffy and poofy and, you know. But this bread doesn't have any yeast in it. Because when Jesus took a piece of bread like this, he said that this was a picture of his body. And in the Bible, when they talk about yeast, that means that was like a type of sin. And there was no sin in Jesus. He never... You guys ever do anything wrong? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus never did anything wrong. He never did anything wrong. That's why it's like this. And we look at this piece of bread and we see the stripes on there. See them stripes on there? Because the, the word says that by his stripes we are healed. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. We see the bruising on there because he was bruised for our iniquities. And by his stripes we are healed. And finally we see in this piece of bread, you might not see it in that little piece you have, but there has little holes in it because he was pierced when he was nailed to the cross. They put holes in his body. He said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. He said, I want you always to remember that I loved you so much that I gave my body to be broken for you. So that when we do something wrong, we can go to him and ask forgiveness and he'll forgive us. And he'll make us right. Amen? Jesus, we thank you for the broken body. We thank you that you gave your body to be broken. We ask you, Lord, to help us never, ever, ever forget the price that you paid on Calvary. Let's partake of the body of our Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And on the night before Jesus was crucified, he took the cup of the Passover Seder and he said something that had never been said before. Over hundreds and hundreds of years of celebrating the Passover, he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. For thousands of years they had the old covenant, but now there was a new one he was instituting. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant written in my blood. Now there's no blood in this cup. If there was, I wouldn't drink it. But it represents the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary. Because it's only by the blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. God can't accept us if it weren't for the blood of Jesus Christ. He says, often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Let's partake of the cup. Okay, kids. <laughs>